Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So today we're going to be taking a look at a growth pattern on bromeliads and ask the question, what is quilling? So you know what? The sun is shining. The island breeze is blowing. It's time that you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun. And why don't we ask the question, what is this kind of growth on my bromeliad and what can I do about it? So today we're going to be talking about a growth abnormality that you may see in your bromeliads from time to time or you might see it when you go to buy bromeliads. Uh, it is called quilling and if you take a look you can see that the cup of that bromeliad is not open and take a look at all of the leaves and you can see that they are growing together. Now I use the term quilling as how I've always known it and you know what there's not a lot of info about it out there. I've gone online and can only find one reference but in general quilling is where the growth of the cup of the bromeliad constricts. Now we're going to go into uh, why it happens in just a second but I'm going to show you a close-up of a really popular bromeliad and you'll be able to see uh, what a difference uh, quilling makes in the growth of that bromeliad. Now this is an Echmia fasciata. It is probably one of the um, more popular bromeliads sold. It's been around for an awfully long time. It gets a beautiful inflorescence but what I want to show you is this abnormality that we have in the leaves of this Echmia fasciata and I'm going to move it into the camera here and take a look you can see that it almost forms oh like a pine cone we could call it coning maybe um, nevertheless that's not normal so I'm going to bring it around and I'm going to show you a normal cup. This is a pup of uh, the bromeliad and take a look. That cup is absolutely normal. And then we'll go back here and look at this one and take a look. You can see clearly that that is not a normal tank. So it's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, this is not a normal growth pattern. This is definitely a growth abnormality uh, in this bromeliad and what you obviously want of course is you want an open tank on your bromeliad like this pup so that it can absorb water adequately. So why don't we go into what causes this and it can be multiple causes and is there anything that we can do about it. Well, okay, the reason that this happens is, remember down in here, we have what's called the meristem. We just, I think a couple weeks ago, had an episode about explaining the meristem. So the meristem is the, uh, the apical or upward growing point of the plant, and that's where all of these leaves come out. Now, there are two meristems. Uh, the other is the root meristem, but we're going to be talking about the apical meristem. So, in a normal bromeliad, um, as long as everything works, this is a bilbergia. Now, this is supposed to have a columnar uh, growth pattern, uh, but you can see that this has an open tank, an open cup, and that is how the leaves are formed in the meristem and then grow out uh, from there. But something happened to the meristem of this Echmia fasciata. Now, can it be reversed? Unfortunately, guys, no, it can't be. Uh, we've talked about how when a leaf is formed, it's formed, and that's it. It's not going to be able to change. And so in this particular plant, this coning or quilling or whatever we're going to call it um, is irreversible. So it can actually happen from any number of different causal agents because it is what damages the meristem that causes this. 
it is a damaged meristem. So anything that damages the meristem can do it. It can be because of chemicals. In some cases when a bromeliad has been treated to come into flower, it will cause a constriction because of a reaction to the uh, product that was used. It is a malformation that's going to happen right down there at the meristem where the leaves are formed, but it is not uh, centered around one causal agent. But the good news is that we can look at the plants and we can at least give it a guess. So when we have uh, a plant like this Echnia fasciata and one part of the plant, the pup, is absolutely as normal and healthy as it can be, but the adult looks like this, well that indicates that whatever happened only happened to the meristem of the adult and wasn't because of let's say environmental uh, conditions or because of the culture under which the plant has been grown. In some cases it happens because of an element or mineral deficiency in the plant. So this can also happen in your plants uh, if they have not had fertilizer for a long time. Now I'm going to show you a really good example of that. Now here's something else. If it's because of something that happened just to this part of the plant, then you will get a pup that's going to be completely normal. But I'm going to show you an example of a bigger bromeliad where that's not the case. So now let's take a look at this plant. This is an ex andrelechmiadine. And I want to show you the quilling that has happened in this plant. We're going to come on up here and you can see right there. Take a look. It looks like a fountain coming up. Um, and you can see it's very, very columnar. And those leaves have constricted. Now I'm going to show you something that's really cool and you can really get an idea for the constriction by, let's see if I can zoom in here and take a look and you can see that these leaves are pleated. Can you see the ridges in it? And even look at this leaf right down there and you can see that it was happening uh, on this leaf as well. Take a look at the the ridging in there. Now you can see right there, see how that leaf is also pleated? We'll see if we can get on in there a little bit better. So you can see that something definitely was wrong as this leaf was being formed and growing even before these leaves right here. Okay, so this is the same exact thing we were looking at with the Echmia fasciata. So we're going to ask the question on this one, why did this happen? So I can't tell you exactly why, but here's a good guess. Now this is going to be different than the fasciata. Remember on the fasciata, we had uh, the pup was completely normal, so that it would indicate that the adult was the only part of the plant that had been affected. Something happened to the meristem of just that particular part of the plant. But look at this, guys. Look at these pups. That is not normal growth. Those pups are quilling. Now you can't see it very well, but they are also um, becoming constricted. Now, they're going to grow up a little columnar as they start to go, but by now those pups really should start to unfurl and you can see that they are getting constricted as well. Okay, so that would indicate that the causal agent for this quilling is not necessarily just in the adult. That would indicate that not only is the adult being affected, but also so are the pups. Okay, so we're fairly certain that because 
uh, we have this growth abnormality in the adult and also in the pups well it has to do with culture maybe and take a look that's a pretty small pot not abnormal to have a plant this size in a nine inch pot but if this plant had been grown in this pot for a long time it's very possible that what fertilizer may have been in the pot has already been used up and or leached out and if it is a lack of adequate fertilization on this bromeliad then the pups would also uh, be affected now there is one element that this may be because of or how about this may be because of the lack of that element um, again you can see that pleating on there you can tell that the meristem is really really constricted and you know what my guess is that nitrogen which is uh, very transitory um, had been all used up and this may be because of a nitrogen deficiency uh, in this plant. Nitrogen uh, not only is a function of chlorophyll, but nitrogen is also uh, an element that causes cell elongation. Hmm, if it's cell elongation and it's not happening, it means that it's constricted, and that's what we're looking at here. Now, we've done a video on fertilization, um, so I'm not going to go into all of the details there. It's in a playlist, and you'll be able to find that by looking through the channel. And I really suggest that you do so. Uh, but uh, if this has not been fertilized adequately, then um, it very well could not have any elements or minerals left in the substrate uh, that it's growing in. Remember, this is a big plant, and even though you don't have to fertilize your bromeliads all the time, if it's in the same pot and it's a big plant, it can really deplete all of those elements and minerals uh, that initially had been placed in when it was put in the pot. So again, I really suggest that you look at our video about fertilization. Um, you do not want to dose your plant uh, with a lot of nitrogen. Uh, remember, again, this cannot be reversed in leaves that are already quilled, but maybe subsequent pups, uh, if they get the right amount uh, of fertilizer, uh, may come out and may be normal. So all is not lost on this plant but no you're not going to be able to reverse what you see right there in that um, growth that's coming out of the adult now maybe the pups uh, because they are not completely formed uh, may come out of that but the leaves that you see right there are not going to change so it's the only change that you're going to see guys is in subsequent growth and in the adult plant, any subsequent growth is going to have to come out of here, which is constricted. Uh, so uh, adding extra fertilizer uh, will not be able to reverse this trend. So anyway, guys, that's it. Quilling is a growth abnormality, and it's not normal to the plant. Now, if you want to buy it because it looks so odd, that's okay. I've done it before, and it is going to be very, very different. But it is not a normal growth pattern in your bromeliad, so a heads up on that. So no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you and I need to keep growing and have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.